Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Ibrahim Hanbal. I'm a teacher handling the Tree I subject. And in this video, we'll be going over UML diagrams, specifically the package diagram. So the package diagram is used to showcase the dependencies between uh, different packages in a system. So it essentially shows us how different components uh, work together as a group. So there are two main components of or two main parts of the package uh, diagram. We have the components and the packages. So the components, as shown here, uh, makes use of a box with the name of the component inside. So usually the components are either the classes or the subsystems in your system. So for example, here we have the, let's say, course class, strand class, student data subsystem, and student management subsystem. So these are our components. Again, you place them in a simple box. The packages, on the other hand, makes use of a folder uh, as the a container and inside the folder you will place your different components so for example we place here the student data and student management and uh, here we name the package so for example this is the student package and it contains the student data and student management subsystems so take note uh, for the packages this isn't necessarily the uh, name of an actual package in your system this is simply the name of how would you classify all of these components so this is more of a category and less of an actual package if you do have a package which is used to organize these classes then that's fine you can use that but if you don't have specific packages that's fine you simply need to organize them based on what type of components all of these are again this uh diagram is meant to vis help you visualize what components do what purposes or what components um, are similar to each other in terms of their function so let us create a simple package diagram based on this so similar to the previous videos uh, specifically the class and sequence diagram let's try to make a package diagram uh, diagram for an online module system so let's go ahead and copy this Let's use this as one of our packages let's place that there and then let us copy another package or let us copy let us add rather a third package let's put that there okay and uh, for this particular package i will add i will place four components instead of just two so let's just add some additional components. One, two, uh, three, and four. Okay. So this is our three packages. So obviously we have the first one here, the student package. Let's, uh, since we have a student package, let's also add a teacher package. So we'll have here our teacher package and similar to the student, we will have teacher data. And we will have another one or another component for teacher management. So teacher management. decrease the font size of that there we go okay and for the last package let us add the components of or let us uh, add the classes course and strand course strand and let us include some subsystems as well. Let's say course management. And strand management. management and we can name this 
uh, package us, let's say, something like SHS curriculum. So this is the SHS curriculum package, and it contains information on the course, course management, strand, and strand management. And then, uh, as for the data, so obviously, we, we will need to connect these two packages. We can just draw an arrow here, another arrow, oops, another arrow here, and, or we can have it be opposite. Like so. There we go. Another arrow here. And let's add a line. That's our first line. Oops. And that is our second line. There we go. So this is now our package diagram. So simply put, uh, we have our SHS curriculum package, which has the course and course management and strand and strand management. And this will pass data to the student package and the teacher package. Again, this is meant to be a very simplified version of a package diagram, but this is generally how you will create it. You will group all of your components into different packages and you will draw lines or arrows which pinpoint which packages will send data to which package. So this Let's say the uh, SHS curriculum package will send data to the, to the teacher package and will also send data to the student package and so on. So that is the idea here with the package diagram. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.